Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be talking about drawing shapes and measuring things. So one of the big things that you're gonna be doing over and over on the AutoCAD professional exam is measuring between two objects. Now, oftentimes you'll have to draw these objects. So they can be anything from a circle to a square to a polygon. So it's just, you, you need to be familiar with drawing any shape. So for example, if we're gonna draw a circle, let's just you know, draw it a circle. Let's say it's 12 units. I'll just press enter. And for this, also make sure your snap settings are on. So if you go over here, um, click on this arrow, go to object snap settings. And for simplicity's sake, just select them all. That's just gonna mean that your the shapes you draw are gonna snap to each other no matter essentially what you click on. And then make sure you have this button pressed in as well. This is your snap on. So if it's not on, then things won't snap, okay? So let's say we had a circle, and then we had a line, or you're asked to draw a line, uh, and just draw like a random line, it doesn't really matter. And then maybe at the end of this line, you had a polygon. So uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with how to draw a polygon, just type in the word poly. It should show up, select that one. And then it's gonna ask you to enter the number of sides. So by default, it has four. But let's go ahead and make this a hexagon. So I'm gonna press six and then press enter. And then I need to specify the center of that polygon. So I'm gonna click once. It's gonna ask me if I want an inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle. Uh, let's just use the inscribed option for now. And I'm just gonna kind of go out uh, a certain amount of units and I'm gonna drop that down. Okay, so I'll leave it up to you kind of like where you put it, uh, but you know, just somewhere like that, okay? So then if, if this was a question on the test, then maybe it asks you to draw a circle and a hexagon. Uh, the next thing can it, it can ask is anything having to do with distance. So like what is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle? What is the distance between these two shapes from this point to that point? So it's important that you understand how to access the measure tool uh, so that you can measure these different objects, okay? So what I'd like you to do is over here on the side, if you're on your home tab, you'll have access to the measure tool. And there's a few ways to access this, but this is probably the easiest way. Um, if you try to use the, the hotkeys, sometimes you enter the wrong ones and then you just are kind of killing time. Uh, and if you've ever taken this exam before, you know it's not an exam you want to waste time on you you have if you're doing it for the first time you have just enough time to you know complete it with a few minutes to spare so I'm going to use the distance tool and then the distance tool is very very easy to use you click on a point and then you just bring it over to a distance and you click again when you've done that it's going to ask you you know what kind of information are you trying to gather here and at least for this video we're just trying to gather distance so it's very visible what the distance is for me, you know, it says 12 and that makes sense because I made the radius of this circle 12. Um, but when you click away, it kind of vanishes. It leaves it over here for a little bit. So just kind of make note of that. And you know, that's the answer you're gonna wanna type in. All the information it gives you, that's what you wanna type in, okay? I still have access to the distance tool. So if I needed to know the, the distance from the center of this polygon to this vertex here, you know, I can just go ahead, click there, bring it up to here, and right away, I can see that that is 13 units, okay? So that's what I would be typing into my exam. Okay, hopefully you found this uh, video useful. I'll see you in the next one where we'll talk about more problems. Peace.